Så ska jag nog What are you doing? Hey, hey, I see you. Are you nuts? Oh, are you gonna get tangled up on my pants? No, don't eat that. No, don't eat that. What a nut. You're a nut. If you ever want to be super fucking motivated, listen to Joe Rogan. What Joe? I don't have any more right now, but I'm obsessed with roasting carrots in the oven. Like, this is my favorite thing ever right now. And I'm glad I'm liking it because I have to get back on my shit. Like, get to the gym, honey. Seriously. I have plans. I want to try and take, like, three weeks off at least this probably gonna end up being like summer hopefully we get to keep working um because i'm going back out west i'm definitely going to yellowstone but it's such a long drive to get out there and i like to drive because i like a road trip i like to see, i want to see everything like Lonzo. wow okay i just feel like shit so i have to do something about it so instead of crying about it we're gonna do something about it hopefully <laughs> you know what to do just it's about doing it listen to joe you know i have to picture that he's yelling at me he's like shelby come on like what are you doing like you know better fucking go to the gym fucking you know eat right track your shit don't make excuses i'm like yes daddy <laughs> um yeah so uh anyway I just love him to pieces and he was talking about being self-made and loving a story of somebody that's self-made and that always like um I, I looked up to people that did that I looked up to people that just like went through hard times and struggled and persevered and did it anyway or did things when everybody else said no like yes do it that's so amazing some people are so incredible and i think those people are all around us and we don't like even notice you know even small things you can appreciate but um i've come a long way like i i have to tell myself like don't be lazy so i'm just trying to like have a whole healthier lifestyle and i feel like i've been falling backwards into like old habits here and there and like binge eating and um just like putting things off like leaving messes everywhere and stuff like that so um and i can like clean like i'll clean everything and then two days later it's like a tornado like i don't even know what happens like i don't even know what happens but that's what happens but yeah I'm also, while well, I'm trying to wrap some stuff, and I, I've been so tired the last few nights. I always feel like I'm stretched thin, and I always feel like I don't get enough done, I guess. Um, and I don't even know what I've been doing. Jesus. Um, this is a book that I'm currently reading. So I haven't read anything from Sylvia, but I've read about her herself. And like, I cried when I read about her committing suicide and like her mental shit and um, like she turned the oven on or whatever and she like put her kids to bed and like sealed up their rooms tight so they wouldn't, you know, die too. And, um, and yeah, just like the pain of of that of really actually going through with something like that um it break it, like it it's so real because when you're in such a depressed mental state i feel like it would be easy to snap and do that obviously people do it all the time and it just like really hits me and how tragic like you ended your life when there are so many things to look forward to and that's why I remind myself, and that's why I want to go across, back out west, across the country again, because um, peace lies in, like, the mountains for me. Like, peace lies in 
seeing something so magnificent and beautiful and um, realizing how everything else is just so small. So these are my goals. I just want to see some shit before, like I'm not tied down to anything. And I'm trying to get my boyfriend to go with me. If he doesn't go with me, I want to, I'll go alone. Like, I'll go somewhere alone. Maybe I won't take a month off. I mean, that would be fucking actually awesome though, probably. But I would get scared, you know. But I'd be brave. It's other people who would make me scared about it more than anything, I think. Like, if I just went, didn't listen to nobody but me. Hey, let's just do it, you know. If something bad happens, I mean, you're going to deal with it. <laughs> Like super stoked to get my groceries. I think I want to get a spaghetti squash. I buy too much shit and then been doing things. I think I've been places for dinner. Same things happened in this weekend. Fuck. Or like, I was like too strict and now I'm letting go. You know what I mean? Like, I got strict and then less, 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 less. Here I am and I need to go back and seal it up. We're gonna keep going, it's life. I'm trying to look at it that way and not like I failed at something just that, you know, you're gonna, that's gonna happen and you're just gonna do it again. You're just gonna keep doing it. Cause it's good for you. And Daddy Joe says so, like, Joe Rogan for president. Can I piece it? Is that stupid? My friend Taylor at work, she always throws a piece up so well you're like <laughs> you remember like doing peace signs though like <sighs> shit dippy dippy <laughs> bunny this is the book no i want like a cool hand thing you know what or well that's and <laughs> wait what's that oh hang loose and is this I love you? I love you. Or rock. <laughs> the rock sign. This is what we called it in the day. I really want to give myself one of these. They are tattoos. Or they can actually go on like plastic and shit. Aren't they so cool? I like don't want to use them at all. But like I really want to do one. I like when I do one I don't care about that much. But I think they all look so neat. I love this little caterpillar guy. I used one of my favorite ones. There was a cicada on here. I'd love to get a tattoo. Ooh, what if I get a tattoo of a cicada? It's a thought. <laughs>